Finally tonight, a new poet laureate has been named for the U.S., but she is not new to NewsHour viewers. Natasha Trethewey will be the 19th laureate appointed by the Library of Congress. We first profiled Trethewey in 2006 for her third book of poems, Native Guard. This is my first trip back to Gulfport since Hurricane Katrina. It's been over a year since I've seen the place, and it's odd to come back here after having written this book, seeing the places that I was trying to elegize years ago when I first started working on these poems in a very figurative sense, uh, because I was distant from these places, not that these places were actually gone. And now as I walk around here today, I realize that those poems that I wrote have become quite literal, that Gulfport really is destroyed, and so many of those places that I connect to my childhood and growing up are no longer here. When I was born here in Gulfport in 1966, my parents' interracial marriage was still illegal. And it was very hard to drive around town with my parents, to be out in public with my parents. We're going to Ship Island, the home of Fort Massachusetts, which is just off the coast of Gulfport, Mississippi, my hometown. We're going out there to try to remember the Louisiana Native Guards, who were the first officially sanctioned regiment of African-American soldiers, Union soldiers in the Civil War, who were stationed at the island. I used to come out here every 4th of July as a child to picnic and swim on the island, to tour the fort and wander through it. And all that time, I never knew anything about the presence of black soldiers on the island. And so for me, this is a way of trying to uh, tell another history, a lost or forgotten or little known history about these black soldiers who played an important part in American history. The Daughters of the Confederacy has placed a plaque here at the fort's entrance. Each Confederate soldier's name raised hard in bronze, no names carved for the Native Guards. Second Regiment, Union Men, Black Phalanx, what is monument to their legacy? All the grave markers, all the crude headstones, water lost. Now fish dart among their bones, and we listen for what the waves intone. Only the fort remains, near 40 feet high, round, unfinished, half open to the sky. The elements, wind, rain, God's deliberate eye. In 2007, Native Guard was awarded the Pulitzer Prize. Natasha Trethewey officially takes up her duties in the fall. You can watch much more of her, as well as readings, profiles, and interviews with 11 other former U.S. Poet Laureates on our Artbeat page.